Staff is ready to begin the meeting when you are. All right. Thank you, Teresa. We'd like to call the May 5th, 2021 meeting of the Planning Commission for the Town of Hilton Head Island to order. And Teresa, have we complied with FOIA? Yes, sir. And would you please call the roll? Certainly. Mr. Perry? Here. Mr. Campbell? Here. Mr. Stevens? Here. Ms. McGowan? Here. Mr. O'Neill? Here. Mr. Scanlon? Here. Mr. Alfred? Here. Mr. Theodore? Here. Mr. Christian? Here. And does staff have any changes to the agenda? No, sir, we do not. Okay, thank you. Can I have a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Okay. Um, do any of the commissioners have a suggestion to alter the agenda in any way at this time? All right, hearing none, everyone in favor of approving the agenda, just raise your hand. And that looks unanimous to me. So ordered. And then we have the minutes of our April 21st, 2021 meeting. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? Okay, LaVarne and Mark, any uh, suggested corrections, additions to the minutes by any of the commissioners? Okay, all those in favor, hand up again. Leslie, you get your hand up? I'm abstaining because I wasn't present. Okay, thank you. So noted. All right, Teresa, do you have that? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, appearance by citizens. Teresa. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Public comments concerning agenda items were to be submitted electronically via the open town hall portal. There were no comments submitted on the portal today for this meeting. Citizens were provided the option to give public comment during the meeting by phone. However, there were no requests to give public comment by phone. Thank you, Teresa. Just want to note that um, Council Members Harkins and Becker uh, have joined us and we welcome them to our meeting. Um, we have no old business and we have one item of new business which is a request from the Hilton Head Fire and Rescue Department. It is STDV-000815-2021-0. A request from Hilton Head Island Fire and Rescue to name an access easement off of Dillon Road as Race Runner Common to reduce confusion and ensure prompt emergency response. And I believe Becky Nugent with the Hilton Head Fire and Rescue Department is going to make that presentation. So Becky, the floor is yours. Good morning. Um, for those of you that are just seeing me for the first time, my name is Becky Nugent and I've been with Fire Rescue since January of 2020. Um, so I am the 911 Communications Manager. This is my first time, so just um, bear with me. So um, we had an incident that uh, an address came up and it was, it's in between two businesses. I don't know what the formal layout of this is, if you want me to read, read from the application or not, but there is a new house that has gone in between two businesses off of Dillon Road. The address is 139. It's in between 145 and 147 Dillon Road. So it is not, the numerics don't make sense. And it is our request to name this road for the purposes of emergency response. And um, in case there are any other additions, this property is large and there could be additions that go on this property as well. There is an access easement in between the two buildings, um, the two businesses. Um, so this is our request to you. All right. My understanding of our role is that the commission, this is one of the few things that the commission can approve outright. And Anne, you correct me if I'm wrong, um, we are the final word on street names. Is that correct? That's correct, sir. Okay. 
Rather than have Becky go through word by word each of the points in her presentation, I'm sure the commissioners have read the information. Um, do any of you have questions for, for Becky? And we do have a celebrity among us, and I'll embarrass her. Um, <laughs> Jahida Fister with the, um, is the um, fire marshal with the Hilton Head Island Fire and Rescue Department, and she is our cover person. I can't say cover girl because that would be politically incorrect. <laughs> our cover person, and she will be around for autographs later on. Um, <laughs> but does anyone have a question for Becky or for Jahida? Go ahead, Michael. I'll jump in. Uh, the only question I had, I mean, it's pretty obvious what you were doing here, but um, uh, where do we come up with the street name? That's number one. The road names were are vetted. They It does meet the requirement. Race runner is a type of lizard that is indigenous to that area that was submitted, and that's the one that we went with. There were several in that area, but... Um, that's we sorry, didn't, didn't want to repeat. Fair enough. And I had one question for the chief, if I could, and that is, uh, uh, and this is a little off the topic from the, the, the road change, but uh, are all of the hydrants uh, in South Carolina the same size of the, uh, in other words, the connections, the connectors, are they the same size statewide or they vary from, uh, you know, uh, town to town? Um, so the minimum that they're allowed to be on is a six inch main. Um, so typically, yes, like that's what the requirement is that the minimum be six inches for the hydrant to provide the flow. Well, let's supposing we had a large fire on the island here uh, and, and, and neighboring towns send their uh, equipment to help us out. Are their hoses, uh, are, are there, will they be able to connect to our hydrants to help uh, fight such a fire? I know of instances where the communities nearby don't have the same uh, hose size connectors and uh, houses burned down with fire trucks in the front yard because they couldn't connect to the local hydrant. And I've always wondered whether that was the case uh, around here. Um, so typically, yes, there are, it's the thread size for the hose that we carry. Right. Um, and so we carry five inch. Um, the thing that is different with us as a compo compared to Bluffton is um, we use a stores connection. So all of our um, hydrants have stores connections on them. Um, what, what does that it, mean? Um, so it's a quick connect that, uh, are it so that we don't have to screw on the hydrant it's a quick connect and it makes the connection um, very quickly um, I would probably have to talk to our operations person to find out what the um, what Bluffton carries but typically the hydrants are um, this they have the same connections throughout the county Okay, thank you. And like I said, like they're five inch, um, we carry five inch, Bluffton carries five inch. So um, the, the hydrants are the same throughout our area. Okay, that answers the question. Thank you. I'm sorry it was off topic there, but it's something that's always bothered me in my first chance to ask. Other questions from among the commissioners for Becky or Jahida? All right, hearing none, um, is there a motion to approve this request to name this particular road Race Runner, which is a type of lizard? You always learn something new from Becky. I'll make that motion. Second. Uh, Leslie moved. Uh, Stephen, second. Uh, is there any further discussion? All right, Teresa, would you please call the roll? Yes, sir. Mr. Perry? Approve. Mr. Campbell? Approve. Mr. Stevens? Approve. Ms. McGowan? Approve. Mr. O'Neill? Approve. Mr. Scanlon? Approve. Mr. Alfred? Approve. 
Mr. Theodore? Approved. Mr. Christian? Approved. Well done. Thank you, Becky and Jahida. We now have Race Runner among our street names. Thank you. All right, I have no commission business <laughs> other than I, I received a little note from uh, Teresa indicating that I, I need to take um, uh, a, a course, and I don't know if any of the other commissioners are uh, among those who need to take a <laughs> webinar, um, but uh, uh, Teresa has put us on notice that uh, and given us a couple of options. I'll, I'll bring that up to reinforce um, her uh, nicely phrased email to give us a little encouragement. LaVarne, go. Um, yeah, I was going to ask Teresa. Now, I did uh, participate in one of the programs. I'm not sure if I was uh, did the form right or got the credit for it. Um, Teresa, can you tell me if you have the credit for the uh, the communities one that uh, Jamie and uh, Dr. DeBose presented? Certainly, Levon. Uh, I don't have that information handy right now, but I'd be happy to look and um, get back to you this morning. Okay, so once we have taken the course, uh, there's something that we need to do for the next step to show you that we've uh, participated. Yes, sir. There's a um, state training form that's required by the state um, that we need to fill out, but I am happy to fill that out for all of you um, if you just want to let me know which courses you've taken. Yeah, so, I, 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 yeah, I'm sorry, just one more question. Um, if I've taken that course, do I need to take something else or does that satisfy it? So uh, each member commissioner needs to have three hours. So I would look at um, our training records to find out how many hours that you currently have um, and how many that you uh, you need to have, need to take. Okay. Thank you. And sure, <clears throat> I know it was quite a lengthy email, um, but <coughs> the opportunities listed, but it, in the very beginning, I did try to highlight um, the number of credits that each, each commissioner needs. And if you didn't receive an email from me, that means you're all good on, on credits. <laughs> we, we appreciate you giving us that nudge, Teresa. Certainly. Uh, the chairman's report, I believe, Ann, I am up to make our report <clears throat> to the town council later this month. Is that correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. Okay. And committee reports, Todd, anything on CIP? Nothing on my end. I believe that first reading was uh, yesterday with council. I believe so. Um, I, I know Michael doesn't have anything on comp plan, but uh, anything to add, Michael? Nope. We just won our award. We're happy. Okay. Um, LaVarn? Uh, we did have a, uh, a ta Gullah Geechee Task Force meeting on uh, on Monday. Um, and we're still moving along with uh, the couple of elements of the family compound and family subdivision. At that meeting, we did have a report from uh, uh, Chief uh, uh, Tadlock and uh, Pete from PSD on the fire hydrant program. That seems to be moving along very well and getting good coverage uh, throughout the island. And there was also a report on a program that's been initiated with the Heritage Library to help folks uh, search their genealogy to address some of the issues with heirs' property. So we're very encouraged by that and still moving along with the recommendations that we've made uh, from the task force. Excellent. Thank you, LeVon, for that report. Um, Leslie, LMO? Yes. Um, the LMO met two or three weeks ago with the DRB to um, discuss their concerns, um, the, which I guess I could sum up with saying that they, the, the conclusion is that the LMO, to a great extent, um, recently, in recent development, is inconsistent with the DRB's mission, which is to reflect and preserve island character. Um, and then the DRB also um, had put forth a proposed amendment to um, beef up um, landscape buffer requirements for internal, internal to properties, for instance, mm -hmm. between the parking and the buildings. Um, the 
the committee um, voted to move forward on the the one ordinance amendment, which was dealing with the internal landscape buffers, and submitted a, a, a second recommendation to the to the town to create a task force to uh, made up of members of I guess a public planning committee staff and whatever other experts. Hopefully, somebody the planning commission too to do an analysis of the LMO to to watch to to. Uh, probably end up with amendments to tone down some of the, the zoning regulations so that we get back to reflect an island character. Um, I know it went to the Public Planning Committee. Uh, Todd, Todd was, was there. And I, I gather from, because I, I, I listened to that tape, that the um, Public Planning Committee pretty much reflected what the, um, what our committee said. Is that your, do you agree, Todd? Yeah, I think we were all in agreement that the, um, the LMO needs to be looked at and then a better way to um, kind of interface the design, um, uh, design review board, the design guidelines, and the LMO so that they're more in sync to uh, each other. Yes. So where exactly that is right at this very moment? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, so the, the only thing we know that will bubble back up to the commission would be the um, amendment on the internal landscaping requirement. That's correct. Leslie. That's and we, correct. We'll, see, we'll see that at some future date. Yes. Okay, well, sounds like you've been busy as always. Well, we do. Any, anything <laughs> else, Leslie? Well, that's all I have for today. Thanks. All right, thank you so much for that report. And Alan, uh, I don't believe you've met anything on rules. <clears throat> no, nothing on rules. All right, thank you, Alan. And Ann, staff report? Uh, yes, sir. Um, we do have an agenda item for the May 19th meeting. Um, we'll have you review the updated hazard mitigation plan, which is part of the comprehensive plan. Okay, What and what plan was that again, Ann? I'm sorry, it's the hazard mitigation plan. Okay. And what exactly is our hazard mitigation plan? Give us, put a little bit more flesh on the bone so we know what we're going to be looking at. Sure. So currently we have a Beaufort County hazard mitigation plan, which was last updated in its uh, date of 2015. Uh, this would be an update to that plan, and actually it expands out from Beaufort County to include three other counties. It's a regional hazard mitigation plan. So you'll make a recommendation to town council, and town council will hopefully adopt that plan as part of the conference. And what type of hazards are we talking about? Uh, natural hazards. Okay, so we're talking about storm events. Yes, storm events, um, any kind of other natural hazard. Yes. Okay. All right, any other business to come before the commission? Well, thank you all for your time and attention. Is there a motion that we adjourn? Michael, Alan, so awarded, all in favor? I thank you all for your hard work. Take care, everybody. Thank you.